Our next objective is scope of segmentation. Let's take a look. Segmenting consumer markets. Geographic segmentation, demographic segmentation, psychographic segmentation, behavioral segmentation. Geographic segmentation divides the market into different geographical units such as nations, regions, states, countries or cities. Demographic segmentation divides the market into groups based on variables such as age, gender, family size, income, occupation, race and nationality. Psychographic segmentation divides buyers into different groups based on social class, lifestyle or personality traits. Behavioral segmentation divides buyers into groups based on their knowledge, attitudes, uses or responses to a product. Geographic scope A segmentation process clearly requires a geographic boundary as this will enable the project team to size the market, identify the localities in which the market dynamics have to be understood and, once the segments have been identified, develop the appropriate marketing objective and strategies for those localities. For companies trading in numerous countries around the world, there is clearly an enormous attraction in finding a single global segmentation model that can be applied to every country. Defining markets Market definition is crucial for number 1. Measuring market share and market growth Number 2. The specification of target customers Number 3. Recognition of relevant competition Number 4. The formulation of marketing strategy, for it is this, above all else, that delivers differential advantage. Developing the market definition Now the general rule for market definition is that it should be described in terms of a customer need in a way which covers the aggregation of all the alternative products or services which the customers regard as being capable of satisfying that same need. It is not therefore defined in terms of what a company sells but in terms of what customers are setting out to achieve. Ensuring meaningful definition to your company. In some case, the market definition will not be suitable for few companies if they are focused on particular part of an overall product. First, define the total available market by expressing it as a need that can be satisfied by all the alternative products or services. Now, define the potentially available market by taking into account what your company's products or services and their directly competitive products or services. Finally, define realistically available market as this will become the market to be segmented. Markets and Strategic Business Units SBUs. In addition to ensuring that the market definition is meaningful to your company, another issue that you may need to address is associated with corporate structure. In many countries, the market being segmented will fall within the responsibilities of one strategic business unit and progressing with the project is therefore quite straightforward. An SBU will therefore have common customers and competitors for most of its products. Be a competitor in an external market. Be a discrete, separate, identifiable unit. Have a manager who has control over most of the areas critical to success. Sizing the defined market. Now that the market segmenting has been clearly defined, a volume or value figure is required in order to size it as it is today with estimates for the future. In most cases, the annual figures for the market should be used. Being able to size the defined market is particularly important for later stages in the process. The size of a segment is used to determine whether or not a segment represents a viable business proposition and therefore worth the time and resources required for the development of a specific offer for that segment. Market Segmentation Process Stage 1 your market and how it operates. Step 1. Market mapping, structure and decision makers. Stage 2. Customers and transactions. Step 2. Who buys? The customer profiling. 
Step 3. What is bought? The purchase options. Step 4. Who buys what? Customers and their purchases. Stage 3. Segmenting the market. Step number 5. Why it is bought? The customer needs.